Well, after my little side track adventure of the carbon fiber panel and a little drawer installation, I got to get back to figuring out how to read a RANS manual. And I already got all the pieces sorted. I'm going to be looking at the fuel pump, the rest of the fuel system, and get that squared away. So I'm going to be working on that. The instructions are kind of vague as to where in particular to mount the plate. So I'm keeping my brake line holes in consideration. And uh, also I have the new fuel lines, but I'm uh, trying to figure out how to make this again with the fuel lines and brake lines, making them flow nicely. So I'm gonna install this valve and then see if I can figure out how everything falls into place the best. So, which it actually says to do the fuel valve first. So I'm doing that. I got myself a little punch kit on Amazon. That thing works great for punching out the hole out of the gasket like you're supposed to. And uh, yeah, chipping away. Well, as usual, there was no shortage of head scratching this weekend or this evening, uh, but I got this guy in. And if you find that to be tight and doesn't fit the head through the hole that they give you, just bend it open a little bit and it'll pop right through. Some people were screwing these things in. They say to rivet them with 42s. Um, if you add up, the 4040 and whatever that is, I mean, it's pretty close to the edge of the 42, but it should work. Then I'm working on this. Disregard what I said about the location. So they do give you a forward and backward location by telling you that the tabs on the cage are five inches back. What they don't tell you is if it, you know, how far in or out. And I guess as long as you're clearing the aileron cable here, which I just kind of wire tied up so there's some tension on it. And then I also marked just where it comes across the corner here. And it's more than a half inch away from the filter, this filter here. So I'm good with that. Um, yeah, so I basically worked on this, worked on this. And then this one threw me for a loop the entire time. I thought the gasculator goes in here, but it's actually five and a half inches up and then two inches out. So I'll probably be installing that. And like I said, the metal fuel line, the new fuel line from Rands that goes from here to here is a kind of long by maybe a couple of inches. So it being such a short distance, it is no way to make it, you know, it's kind of hard to bend. This one here seems to be good. Uh, going from here to here and this one here is good borderline short so I think I have them in the right order I don't see how else they could fit but what I did is I basically pre-bending that short one a little bit um, just kind of massaging it into position so it's a little easier to screw on uh, basically that s-curve just takes up some space all right time to go to bed good night all right, I did a little digging and on the Facebook group somebody asked about this and Randy responded that this firewall fits three other of their airplanes and you just need to plug it. So either a piece of stainless steel, rivet it on, or maybe a metal plug or something. Um, but yes, the gasculator does go five and a half inches up and two inches out. Uh, and here uh, I put my, my clamps in, I made these uh, Clico does in. And looks like the holes for the clamps are about three eighths of an inch out. So I just put a little spacer. I want them in a quarter inch and the intersecting line is where I'll, I'll drill the holes and that'll determine where the clamps go. Uh, you may be wondering because I put this glue underneath here to uh, hold the skin to the cage, but it's actually a non-issue. I thought it was gonna bite me in the ass. So just push it through. It's not very thick. Uh, or a little razor blade cut and the, the clamps will go right through. So that's what we're working on now. Got my super fancy trapezoid, hexag, whatever you call it, shape now. Um, I put washers on here again, like I did under the floorboard, just so it sits flush. These, uh, these worked out great. Um, I did chop a quarter inch off of this side, because the way this sits on here, um, 
seemed uh, a little excessive. I have over half inch clearance on my aileron cable. And uh, again, I'll put those, uh, whatchamacallits, nut plates in and should be able to go in. I don't know, they have you putting in this uh, recessed washer here, but there's plenty of room underneath there for a bolt. So I think for consistency of hardware, I'm just gonna use the bolt. All right. Here it is, all together. I actually forgot to put the uh, nut plate for the, uh, the big ass hose clamp here. And uh, looks like I still have enough room once, once that's bolted down. So we got about a half an inch. So this is the fuel line I was talking about. It's just, I don't know, unnecessary tension on it, especially going into the plastic fuel tank, but it looks good. This, uh, I can make this work somehow around here. A little bit of chafing going on there, um, but it kind of allows me to put my brake line um, in either of these spots or anywhere in between. We'll be working on that and I think it probably, let's see, wherever this gasculator ends up. I believe it's about there. So, do that next. Well, that finishes up the fuel line or the fuel line from the header tank to the filter to the fuel pump to the check valve to the fuel valve off on to the gasculator all in all a pretty straightforward project i think i probably spent most time trying to figure out where to and how to mount this plate um, I put it here. I did make a mark here where the aileron cable cuts across. I might just trim that when I have it out just so there's no chance of it getting, I don't know if it slaps around, gets caught underneath there, but that might be a bit excessive. Uh, what I will do, I think I'm gonna see if I can get a shorter line from here to here. And the reason being, I, I just don't, see how this is starting to kink. So this is 10 inches from the very edge of this cap to the very edge of this cap. And I believe eight's too short, nine's too long, but like nine and three quarters will give it just a little bit of an offset. So it'll it'll go in there. I mean, the other option would be is to do a complete loop to take the tension off of it. Cause this stuff's really stiff. Um, it doesn't, you know, doesn't bend like anywhere near what the little brake lines bend like. Uh, anything to say about this? No, I did put a little bit of uh, the gasket sealant, the same stuff that I used on the firewall here. I just put a little bit around the outside of this to seal it in, but once this tightened, and it's not even that tight, these are like 12 foot-pounds, I think, and yeah, it's squished out nice and easily. The pictures kind of show that this part goes to the inside, so that's where I had it, but then obviously it makes sense to have it on the outside. So maybe you can get a, a fuel tester underneath there. There'll be more to come on this end, but that'll wrap up the inside video. Um, I still have to leak test it, but uh, yeah, pretty straightforward. Next I'll be working on 
the autopilot thing and the uh, brake line is getting nosed through and that'll be the fairings too below.